How to finish a shower. All of the tile is installed. Field wall tile, the niche is complete. The shower is grouted, the niche is grouted. There's a few steps to finalize this shower. Let me explain what they are. Step number one is to seal all of these grout joints. This is porcelain tile, so it doesn't need to be sealed. Prism grout, we always seal our prism grout, and I'll explain and show you why. Secondly, we have to run our 100% silicone where the planes meet around the tub perimeter, as well as where the ceiling meets the tile. And third, we need to caulk where the trim edging meets the drywall so that when we paint, we can cut in. Let's show you what tools are needed and let's finalize this shower. So again, the first step is to seal the grout. Let me show you why. Here's our prism grout. Very small grout joints, 1 16th of an inch, but when water hits this grout, it changes the grout color dramatically. Obviously, the water is penetrating our prism grout. So if water can easily penetrate and change the color of this grout, then product will do that as well. Different product have different dyes in them, your shampoos, your conditioners, your face cleaners. So we want to seal the grout so that nothing penetrates it and it stays the same fresh platinum grout color for years and years to come. Wet, dry, wet, obviously you can see the color difference, much darker. Let's seal it up so that nothing, not water or product, will penetrate this grout. We're using 511 by Miracle today. After you seal it, let it sit for five minutes and then polish out the porcelain. So next we use 100% silicone grout color match platinum. This is where planes meet. Tile meets the ceiling, tile meets the tub flange, and where both walls meet on the left and right side. Silicone allows for expansion and contraction so that your grout doesn't crack over time. After you run your bead, you spray it down with some denatured alcohol. The best stuff to use, you can also use soap and water. I have the alcohol in this spray bottle here with water. This is the handy little tool to run your bead. Let's show you how I do it.
Now the last step of the silicone is to run a bead where the tile meets the tub flange. Make sure this flange here is clear of any dust, debris, and that it is dry. Run your bead, spray your denatured alcohol, and then embed your bead under the tile. Here we go. Now we caulk the side walls of the shower. And there you go, how to finalize a shower, sealing all of the grout joints. Silicone where the planes meet, where the tile meets up there, and where the tile meets the tub flange. And lastly, caulking both sides of the shower so when we cut in our paint, it'll blend right in. Last step is very simple. Polish the trim, polish all of the porcelain, and polish that niche, and then we are ready for our trim kit, shower head, and tub spout. Pull all of this protective paper, and finally clean and detail this brand new tub.